Uh, you're talking about making bad games. I like how, like you see, Hell Divers advertisements everywhere here, even on the side. Uh, this is from Games Radar by Jordan uh, Gerblick. EA flop Immortals of Avium. I, have you heard of Immortals of Avium? I, I haven't. I never even heard about it. Reportedly, it costs around twenty-five million. Formative says a triple-A single-player shooter in today's market was a truly awful idea. This is this is what the devs former dev says. It's because it was a trip a triple A single player shooter. It was was the reason it was awful. <laughs> Xbox rhymes very well with Trexbox, which means trash box in Germany. Yikes. Xbox. Getting getting massive hate. Uh, <laughs> they're not doing well though. Uh, a news report reportedly shed some light on how much EA invested in its single player FPS. Immortals of Avium, which received mixed reviews and was deemed a financial flop. Mars of Avium launched 2023 and missed one of the busiest years in game release history, bookend by behemoths like Diablo 4, Starfield, Boulder's Gate 3. Ascendant Studios self called Call of Duty with Magic. Experience was compelling enough, and I personally think it deserved more attention, but it missed EA's expectations by enough of the margin that 40% of the studio's workforce was laid off shortly after release. Uh, the studio, Brett Robinson, has gone on record to blame Morris poor sales last year. Extraordinarily busy calendar, but an anonymous former spoke to IGN said it's actually a concept of the game itself and its sizable budget were both fundamentally mistakes and ultimately doomed the project. All right, so let's see what he thinks it is. On a high level, Mortals was massively over scope for the studio's debut project, former employee said. The moment cost was around $85 million, not cheap. And EA kicked in $40 million for marketing and distribution. Sure, there are some serious talent on the team. They're trying to make a trip... Serious talent. We'll, we'll look at that later. But uh, trying to make a AAA shooter in today's market was really an awful idea, especially with the new IP. That's while well, trying to leverage Unreal 5 engine. Ended up with a bloated, repetitive campaign that was far too long. What, whatever the reason, didn't succeed. Still, at Ascendant, told IGN there was a... A potential Immortals old school approach when it failed to find an audience regardless. Now let's see what we make. It doesn't take 400 hours to beat. has zero microtransactions. No pointless open world grinding. Although not everyone loved it. It was viewed pretty well. Currently sitting at 74 on Open Critic. Mostly positive on Steam. No one bought it. Well, you know how like games like Power World, you know, have like this like crazy uh, word of mouth uh, kind of marketing. Uh, you know, people are just saying, hey, you got to try this. You got to play this. Well, let's take a look. I was wondering, like, what, what could be about this? I mean, first of all, you know, I see this. I'm like, eh, this doesn't look games, games for me. But let's take a look at their official release here. Let's go to theater mode. And uh, play this great. Uh, let's see what the trailer's about here. I mean, first off, this, uh, I, I don't see the appeal of this screen right here. It's, uh, here's a giant world with a bunch of glowy shit. This is Avium. Ooh, oh, Avium. Super RGB Since magic. We first learned to use magic. We've waged war over who would control it. Now... Only Lucium remains to resist the tyrant of Rashan. Sandrak will eventually be able to block our access to magic. Then the Everworn is... This has to be an actress. I don't know who, but this is like an actual actress. I don't know why they keep doing this. I'm sure it is. Like, if anyone can tell me who it is, please let me know in the comments. But I swear I've seen this person's face in multiple over. shit. As in he takes over Lucium? As in, he takes over everything. Whoa. I, again, I don't get the design with the RGB colors. It doesn't look that good. Cool. She was in Firefly. There's okay. a name for what you are a Magnus. 
I want to be an immortal. I want to fight this war as one of you, one of the elite. I believe in you. She definitely thinks you're going to die. Oh, God. Like, who writes? Do you, do you see this writing? Like, hold on. Let me go back here. Like, I believe in you. She definitely thinks you're going to die. That's why her face uh, looks like that. Yeah. Super cool. Super masculine lady. It's Gina Torres, okay. You walk towards your doom. Doom and I are old friends. Oh, great one liner. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, lady. Doom and I are old friends. Your sigil will help you focus your magic. Prevent it from killing you. I found a child whose new powers could make them a threat to the kingdom I protect. The choice was to either kill you... ...or turn you into a weapon against Rasharn. Option A was to kill me? Ah, uh, yep. Yep. That's, that's the big, that's a high note to end on for their trailer. But wait a second, back up. You gonna kill me? Yikes. I, who, I don't know who they get to write these, these video games. This is the serious talent they were talking about, you guys were talking about. Or they were talking about earlier. The serious talent that they had working on this, but... I mean, after watching this trailer, I I can I can kind of see why uh, why they didn't uh, do too well, or why it didn't seem to gain a lot of traction with a uh, the general audience. Uh, by the way, let's. Uh, oh wait, shoot! Did I prep that? I guess this is where I had. Uh, give me one second. I wanted to show the. Uh, let's see. I wanted to show a different trailer to kind of juxtapose uh a different video to juxtapose how uh two games uh have a different different uh level of appeal here let's see how long have you... let's compare this to this we'll compare these two this is the opening to hell divers their intro cinematic. Super Earth, our home. Prosperity, liberty. Hi there. <laughs> Democracy, our way of life. Oh, hello. But freedom yep. doesn't come free. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet liberty. <laughs> Look familiar? <laughs> Scenes like these are happening all over the galaxy right now. You could be next. Uh. That is, unless you make the most important decision of your life. Prove to yourself that you have the strength and the courage to be free. Join the Helldivers. Become part of an elite peacekeeping force. See exotic new life forms. Oh, yeah. And spread managed democracy throughout the galaxy. Become a hero. Become a legend. <laughs> Become a hell diver. Oh, look at that. There we go. Become a hero. Become a legend. Become a hell diver. It's like supposed to be like, like I said, it, it kind of show. I, it does a really good job at showing off uh, the sort of like satirical, very much like a, 
I guess it was Star Tro- Troopers. Well, there's been like a giant. I keep seeing on uh, Twitter this giant discourse that is a parody and not a not a satire. And but I won't go into that. But you know, it kind of shows you like a kind of like a goofy, but at the same time pretty cool. As you know, basically, hey, become this guy that goes down and kills kill stuff and uh, has fun. It's like dudes, dudes messing around, shooting stuff, uh, killing aliens. That's all you need to. That's all you need to do. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like you know, like a propaganda film for uh, for the hell divers. Become a hero. Become a legend. Well, wait, you were gonna kill me? Back up. Back up. Option A was to kill me. What? The, kill me? I don't know exactly what this writing is, but like it's it reminds me of that Forsaken kind of thing, where it's like very aware, like whoa, did you just say you go kill me? I don't, I don't exactly know what it is, but I keep seeing it in like every stupid movie, like it's like Marvel style like writing, <laughs> and it just it makes me want to vomit. So I mean, yeah, as uh, Santiago said, it's because it's single player. I might. Buy it once in the bin, yeah. Hell, if it goes to like ten bucks, five bucks, I might as well give it a try. It might be fun. You never know with the gameplay, but like, is this is this supposed to sell anybody on this game? It's that sport for spoken crap. <laughs> 